there are a lot of people that are, you know, in the same situation that I am, and they have ideas, they just don't have the capacity to get it off the ground. Something like a Tormach, you can get 99% of the way there, and you can really prove the idea, and you can get a, you can get a fair amount of interest right away, whether it be through, you know, a, vent, a VC or, you know, uh, doing a Kickstarter or, you know, maybe just, you know, making a, a small batch at a time. It's, it's achievable, you know? And it's, it, without something like a Tormach, it's, it's a lot harder. I'm an industrial designer, uh, kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to modern fabrication. Work with a bunch of different companies, anything from uh, distillation of ethanol to uh, cleaning products to heart valves. Industrial design, at least to me, uh, is concerned with the design of a product to make it like, mass manufacturable. And I apply that to every industry that I, uh, that I work with. So I work with a few different companies. One of them uh, is focused on surgical tools, um, products that make surgery safer. They are working on the designs, however they needed help uh, producing prototypes. Uh, with that in mind, I was able to help produce forming fixture tools that were uh, pretty quick, pretty quick turnaround time for them to be able to uh, test a concept and therefore move on to the next iteration. Another, another concept, or another, uh, another product, I work with a company that's developing um, heart valves. This is a uh, tool that is uh, used for doing static pressure tests on uh, heart valve prototypes. So heart valves go through a fatigue test, uh, generally about 15 months, uh, at an expedited rate, uh, about 15 hertz. So it equates to maybe six years of a beating heart. Uh, after that fatigue test, they're put in a static pressure test. This is a manifold that's designed to use a column of water to maintain a steady pressure on the valve to make sure it doesn't leak. This is the uh, University uh, Business Park. It's kind of a hodgepodge, actually. We have uh, yoga classes, we have artists, we have a company that specializes in catheter design, uh, and the companies I just mentioned doing surgical tools, heart valves, uh, even vitamin distribution. But it's kind of funny, all of these companies, it doesn't really matter what they're into, in some capacity, they all are interested in having something designed for them, whether it be a simple sign, uh, a part machined, a fixture, or you know, a complex device. It, it doesn't really matter. I'm able to kind of work, work my way in there with the, uh, the services that I have to offer, and I'm able to help out anybody. I'm not really restricted to a, a certain, certain area. I did spend some time looking around, uh, all kinds of different machines, some Chinese machines, lots of different stuff. I, uh, I did appreciate the fact that Tormach was designed and the company, you know, designed in the U.S. and also uh, employee owned. I think that's pretty cool. Being an entrepreneur myself, I appreciate that, that business model. Um, and then the, it was the customer service, actually. Uh, I, heard, I read a lot of stuff online about customer service and uh, what Tormach, you know, the, how you guys continue to help the customers even after the warranty goes away, I can still call and ask questions. I, I do appreciate that. You're not going to find that in some of the other, you know, the other, uh, other machines. I mean, the cu customer service is, uh, is phenomenal in my opinion. The, uh, the, you know, I feel when I call tech support, the guys aren't there like, you know, trying to get me off the phone as fast as possible. They're totally willing to shoot the shit about, you know, machining in general. They, they talk to me about like, you know, you know, problems they've had, you know, it, it's, it's not, it's not like your average, uh, your, your average tech support people. You know, I'm not talking to India. I'm talking to some guy that actually uses the machines. You know, I, I've called and I've had, I had a problem with my uh, my Heimer uh, gauge, and uh, the, the guy had personal experience using it. He knew it exactly what I was talking about. So to be able to, you know, talk to somebody who really knows the stuff for tech support is invaluable. So with something like this, I feel that I'm capable of doing, you know, most of the stuff. I, I'm not really intimidated by uh, maintenance on the machine. And then uh, kind of a big thing is YouTube. Uh, you got a lot of those guys, there's a lot of support videos, people explaining everything. Um, the, you know, the NYC CNC guys or the, the knives, all those guys are, are huge. It, I mean, just all little videos, just the camaraderie, the, the community that's developed around the tool, I think, I think that's a big part of it. I, you know, you're not gonna find that with those gigantic, you know, cold machining, you know, machining devices that weigh 60 tons and it's, this is, that's not what I'm looking for. I, I need the support as well as the tool. In comparison to the two, I, I think the biggest thing was Mach 3 going away and it became easier. <laughs> um, yeah, I really appreciate the path pilot and the conversational was pretty nice. Kind of touching on what I spoke with, uh, the kind of ecosystem of Tor Tormach, whether it be the tech support or whether it be like the YouTube channels or uh, you know just the other people that own one, um, I kind of feel like there's a, a spirit to uh, collaboration. Uh, 
people sharing their information, sharing their knowledge, and making themselves better, and then you know receiving knowledge from others. I uh, I've tried to do that. I, I teach you know a, a few different classes for the makerspace in my building, and um, yeah, I, it's nice to be part of something like that. It's you know it's, it's a positive experience um, versus just you know sitting in your hole and machining out parts. And, you know, setting them off in the mail. It's it's nice to, to deal with people and you know genuinely try to make people better or the world better or something like that.